up everyone welcome back to my channel so this is the dispatch day pack this is a 22 liter bag from dispatch a company um, based out of san francisco um, they design and manufacture all of their products in san francisco so this is built in the usa uh, and they're really really dope company uh, making unique designs that um, are very high quality uh, and made to last. Um, Dispatch was one of my entries into the whole bag game. This was actually the original Dispatch Day Pack in ballistic nylon was actually the first like good bag that I bought. Here I am back with another one. So that if that speaks to what I think about the product, there you go. Um, so this version is the R&D version. This is made out of Dyneema. Um, this is a five ounce Dyneema, so it's it's a thick one. Uh, it is a tad crunchy. It does have kind of a reflective nature if you've never seen Dyneema. Um, but in my opinion, it's a very high quality material, really good tear resistance. It's super strong, super durable. And um, I just think it's a cool look. So, so I went ahead and got this one on the used market actually uh, for a fairly decent price. Brand new, this bag goes for $400. So. It is an expensive one, but if you can find one on the used market uh, around the 200 mark, I think you're doing pretty good. So the day pack is Dispatch's uh, most popular bag, I believe. It's kind of like their flagship, in my eyes at least. Uh, really nice, simple design. Um, one external uh, vertical pocket. Uh, it is a half zip opening bag, so it opens down to here. It has compression straps, laptop, a separate laptop compartment. Um, and it's just a really simple day pack with a great harness system and very, very comfortable. Uh, I think this is actually one of the most comfortable bags that I own. So to start off, um, yeah, I talked about the material, five ounce Dyneema on this R&D version. It also comes in a ballistic nylon, um, 1680D, which, you know, that's not my favorite material in the world. So I'm happy I got this one. Uh, AquaGuard zippers all around. And they're actually number 10s on every exterior zipper. So that's uh, it's pretty unique in the bag world. Uh, usually you'll only get a number 10 on the main compartment. Uh, Dispatch gives it to you on every zipper, including this front one. And on this version of the bag, they are AquaGuard, and I believe they're made in the USA. Um, very smooth. Smooth with, um, you know, more resistance than a normal zipper, but not as bad as some aqua guards can be. Uh, this bag, I did buy this used as I mentioned, so maybe these have broken in, but they feel pretty great. Um, dispatch always gives you these little zipper pulls. Um, they're kind of like the cat tongue uh, onto, a, onto a metal YKK zipper pull. Uh, little, little branding here. This just says like uh, R&D or research and development. I think the normal version will just say dispatch there, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that's it for the front. It's pretty, pretty slick look, pretty clean. Um, and as you can see, you know, even the handle, you can't really see that there's a handle here because the handle is actually right in between the shoulder straps. And me personally, I do prefer the old style on this bag where they had the handle in the middle. I just feel like it's a more balanced carry. Um, but this one as it sits, is actually pretty good. It's not bad. It does kind of make the bag lean, um, but it's pretty nice to hold. They, they give you this like button fastened cover uh, made out of di made out of the same material as the bag. So in this case, it's made out of Dyne Dyneema uh, and it has a nice thick grab. So that's nice. On the sides, you have compression straps, um, con compression straps. If you want to cinch the bag down, you can also, um, you can also like loop a jacket through here and hang it off the side if you want. And then there's a little D-ring here if you wanted to hang a water bottle. And then you could you could lay the water bottle through here. Not a bad solution for carrying a water bottle considering this, uh, this bag has no exterior water po bottle pockets. There are interior water bottle pockets, but you know, if you're using the main capaci capacity of the bag, you're not gonna be able to use those that well, especially if you're fully packing it out. Same thing on the other side, same compression strap and D-ring. Um, the bottom of the pack is padded, 
So you do have a decent amount of padding in here to protect the stuff on the inside. And you do have two uh, utility loops here if you want to, if you want to attach like a small yoga mat or, you know, you could put a sweater down there, however, however you want to use them. Um, you could do that. And then we'll get to the back panel. Um, so the back panel on this bag is super simple. It's a very simple design, but it's very well executed and it's super comfortable and I wouldn't be able to tell you the reason why. Uh, the shoulder straps are really nice and wide. They're pretty thin, but they're very dense. And I think with that, the width is the most important thing in a shoulder strap. Um, these end up being able to flex around your body pretty nicely. And they're just super, super comfortable. Not overly padded, not super cushy, but just really, really comfortable. There is uh, dense padding and then this air mesh for some breathability as well. Uh, you know, I do like the new edgeless shoulder strap design on some bags, but these ones really, it doesn't bother me at all that it's like the old binding on the side style. Uh, you do have load lifters on top. These, um, these help you bring the load higher on your back and contour to your upper back better. Uh, these were, these ones work well. They have a little strap keeper here so you can, you can control the dangle. You know what I mean? Uh, moving down, you do have two lashing points on either side. If you want to hook a carabiner, you know, you could put like hand sanitizer, hang it on your shoulder strap. Uh, this bag also comes with a sternum strap that is removable. I removed it because this pack is only 22 liters. In my opinion, it doesn't need a uh, sternum strap because it's only a 22 liter bag. Uh, nice little like box stitching here for reinforcement. Uh, simple, nice uh, adjusters for the shoulder strap, nice mil-spec mil webbing, um, and then you do have a quick disconnect for the shoulder strap. There's no place to like tuck the shoulder strap, but you know, if you want to, if you want to hook it around a cafe table, uh, when you're in, you know, when you're in a neighborhood that's a little bit sketchy, you can hook it around a coffee table so someone can't just snatch your bag. Or if you get stuck and you need to ditch your bag for some reason, you could do that as well. Um, so moving on to the back panel, you have that same air mesh here. Uh, not a lot of padding, but it feels great in use. Um, you know, simple air mesh. This air mesh is not abrasive. It's very smooth. It's not gonna braid your clothes. I like it a lot. Um, I like that they added a little skid patch here made out of Dyneema. So, you know, when air mesh goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag, it's really easy for that stuff to get abraded if you're setting your bag down. Um, so I like, I like when manufacturers add this little patch of fabric and then under the shoulder straps, they are connected with some bar tacking here. So I think they're going to be very strong and, um, you know, we sh you shouldn't have any problems with the shoulder straps. I know on the newest version of this bag, um, they did change the shoulder strap design. They made them completely removable at the top and at the bottom. So. You know, I've, I've heard they're decent, but I think this design with the load lifters uh, and this mesh is my favorite version out of all of them. Um, older than this comes with a much rush, rougher mesh here and the handles on the top, like I said before. Um, I like this mesh a lot better. You know, I don't like this handle as much, but it's fine for me. And then the newer ones, they have the detachable straps. Not a huge fan, but the new ones do have external water bottle pockets, so. You know, pros and cons to each version of this bag. So first up, we can get to this front access pocket. It's a vertical zipper. It only goes down to here, um, but this pocket actually comes down to about here. So the pocket is suspended off the bottom of the bag, but the zipper um, comes up even further. So it does create a little shelf at the bottom, um, which is cool because if you leave this open on accident, you know, stuff's not just gonna fly out of your bag so easily. In here, you do have a D-ring at the top here. I just attached my keys. Uh, so I just used like a simple uh, S-beaner to attach my keys to the top of this D-ring here. Inside of here, oh, I also have some snacks. Inside of here, um, you do have some like utility stretch webbing kind of stuff. You can slip some items into here, especially if they have like, um, 
if they have little clips on them, you know, that you can you can clip in, I think that works the best. You have some pen loops in here. Uh, for me, it's a little bit finicky. I don't really like this at all. I kind of wish there was just like a zippered mesh pocket. There is a zippered mesh pocket at the, at the bottom, but the zippered mesh pocket goes from here to here. And with the opening of the zipper here, it's super hard to get into. So I just don't use it at all. It's really strange. So I basically just use this as a dump pocket. I'll just throw some snacks. Or, and then I will hang my keys here if I need to. Getting into the laptop compartment. On this version of the bag, there's one zipper. Uh, really nice laptop compartment. You do have a frame sheet in the back of this bag to keep this sturdy. It does provide a lot of support. And then the front of this compartment is padded. The back is just frame sheet. Um, I just put my 13 inch MacBook in there and as you can see it swallows it up pretty good. I think you can fit a 15. Um, check the dimensions on the website but this, this bag is 10 inches wide um, and 18 inches tall which is about the size of this compartment. It also is elevated off the bottom of the bag um, by a good amount I would say. Yeah, by about this this much, it is elevated off the bottom so that when you set your bag down, your laptop's not gonna make contact with the floor. And that is always a good thing because usually that's the most expensive thing in your bag. So we wanna keep that stuff protected, right? Opening up the main compartment, I am gonna undo the compression straps just so that I can open it as much as possible. So opening up the bag, like I said, it is a half zip. Uh, you do have a mesh pocket on the lid here. Um, this mesh pocket is very small. The mesh is nice, it's super durable filling. It's not that rough, but you can feel that it's really of high quality. There's not a lot of dimension to this pocket. It doesn't, um, it doesn't come out much, it doesn't go in much. So it's kind of just like a flat pocket that's kind of hard to use. I just use it for stuff like this, just like headphones, Tic Tacs, lotion, small stuff fits in there pretty decently, but it is kind of like a pain to close, you know. And then with this lip here, this lip can be kind of a pain, um, but yeah, you have, you have it if you need it. So I think this bag works best as just a big dump pocket. So I like to think of it as I have a main compartment that I'm just gonna dump stuff into a laptop compartment and then the front compartment I'm just using for like snacks or something something super simple um, I think that's where this bag shines it kind of has that GR1 type of use case where it's just like a big open compartment so you know I threw my chargers in in here at the top just so they're easy to get to I have a couple small pouches um, this one's like for medicine this one's for like cuts and scrapes uh, this one's kind of cool. I haven't mentioned it yet. It's by a company called Sauco. I think I got it on Amazon. It's just like a Dura stretch material with a YKK zipper. Uh, pretty cool little pouch. I like, I love Dura stretch. It just feels, just feels good, you know. Uh, this one's from Track, Track Folding Pouch, Dry Finish Wax Canvas, YKK zipper, Aqua Guard, uh, just for some medicine. Yeah. Nintendo Switch, just in an Amazon Basics case. This case is actually pretty good. It's just a hard case um, for a Switch. Uh, little toiletry kit. Like, uh, I didn't mention it, but I did pack this out for like some light travel. Just wanted to show you what it could fit. Uh, I also got my 10 liter GORUCK packing cube. And this packing cube was basically, feels like it was designed for this bag. I believe this is 10 inches. The bag is 10 inches. Um, this is 10 liters, so it kind of like takes up exactly half of this bag pretty much and it fits perfectly down in the bottom you can just shove it down there and it takes up this capacity perfectly now that we got that stuff out i can show you the rest um on the back here you do have a little slot for uh what are these um business papers you know what I mean but uh but you're gonna get some bent corners so you know I don't know if you want to use it for that maybe 
maybe you use this for a tablet. It's a great tablet pocket. Um, it's suspended, it's padded on both sides, and it has a little clasp here. This pocket is suspended a huge amount. It's like, it's like this much, so really gonna protect the tablet going in. Uh, the only thing that kind of irks me is like these corners can be a bit, you know, they can get in your way a little bit, but you know, if you do that, it's kind of easy to get it in and out. Um, all the buckles I didn't mention, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing too hot right now. All the, all the buckles on this bag are very high quality. Um, yeah. Then you have like a little slip pocket in here. Uh, I don't know what you want to throw in here, you know, maybe you just want to throw like some more snacks or something. I don't know, but you got it if you need it. And then you got two interior water bottle pockets on each side. These fit like a standard um, standard size water bottle. I got one right here from Brita, and this is a 20 ounce water bottle from Brita. Brita? Brita? And this goes in pretty, what is going on? There we go. Yeah, so that goes in pretty nicely. Um, it does push out on the side a little bit. It pushes out of the pack a little bit. Um, so it does give the bag a little bit of a, like an awkward, uh, but yeah, so you got, you got two of those, one on each side. They're made out of a ne nice mesh material with a stretchy top. And then you just have like a large cavity in here just to dump stuff. The, like I said, the bottom is padded, so you have a decent amount of padding there. When it's packed the right way, this bag will stand up on its own. Um, but a lot of times I find it, it likes to lean or lean or fall over. So the liner on this pack, it's a 420D pack cloth. It feels really nice, feels durable, and feels like it's gonna last. All right, so this has been the Dispatch Day Pack. Uh, this is one of my favorite bags. I love the design. Uh, it's just super clean, super minimal. I love this version in Dyneema. For a 22 liter pack, if you're in that if you're in that ballpark for daily carry, I highly recommend the Dispatch Day Pack. The normal version in Ballistic Nylon is a great deal. Um, it's around $225 and it's made in America. And that's just not something that you see everywhere. You know, a lot of these made in America brands are very expensive. You're getting a lot of value with this pack. Um, they have a great warranty. They have great customer service. Um, and I highly recommend them. Go check them out if you haven't done so already. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.